No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Hi everybody, I'm Bernie Mitchell. I'm president of Silver Platter Productions and Panasonic's Pro Video Evangelist. I say that because I'm a shooter, I'm a user, I'm not a Panasonic employee. And today, Monday at NAB, the hot news that a lot of us have been waiting for is to see what Panasonic would do in handheld 4K at a reasonable price. And here we have it, it's just been announced, it's the DVX 200. Now you may remember the DVX 100, which was a very, very popular camera for Panasonic. This is the 4K predecessor for it. This is a large imager, it's a four-thirds four -thirds inch imager. It's a very small, compact camera, as you can see. It does not have interchangeable lenses. It's an integrated lens, so it's really kind of designed for run and gun, uh, shoot on the go, if you will, but in 4K. And it records 4K at 60p. So there's a lot of interesting things about this camera. This is the first time it's been announced this morning. This is the first time we are actually showing it. Uh, I don't, I can't really tell you what the list price is. I think that the, in the press conference, I believe they said it'll be under $5,000. Uh, I would guess, and again, this is just a guess, that we'll see working uh, cameras towards IBC in a release sometime later in the year. Right on. Yeah, I think uh, the DVX100 was my first camera ever, so I, I definitely remember uh, the DV, the using it. The DVX100 is be still being used. I mean, it's a great little camera. So I think that the, the DVX200, as a 4K camera, we're looking at some really exciting stuff. And it will shoot, of course, 24p in 4K as well. Nice. Um, and what do you think like, the ideal application for this unit is? Well, you know, it's interesting. We've had, we've had a bunch of people, as we've been talking about it and showing it, we've had a bunch of people who think it could actually be a B camera for the Vericam 35. Okay, because very small, put it in places where, you know, you wouldn't have the Vericam or environments that you wouldn't have the Vericam. So that's kind of an interesting application. But then I also think that, you know, you'll see it in sort of the run and gun or the event guys or maybe even the wedding guys who want to, you know, capture in 4K. Because now you're going to have that kind of capability in a small little handheld camera that gives you that zoom control, that rocker zoom control that, you know, the run and gun guys like. Uh, so, um, you know, and it's got XLR connectors and all that kind of stuff that you would expect. So it's a fully featured camera in a very low, small footprint at a low price. But the, and the price and availability is not determined yet? Or? No. Not that I know of. I mean, there was the press conference, but I'm here in the booth. So. Cool. Thanks a lot, Bernie. All right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, get some little B-roll of yeah.